Hey guys, so it's been a while. How was your trip getting here? Uh, it was good. Yeah. Uh, uh, no delays. Left last night, got in this morning. Uh, Beggar had his, uh, his first shift last night on the pitching. I know you got delayed a little bit. I got delayed a bit, but I think we both, we matched it last night. We, uh, we, both, we both thought we were part of the team, so we didn't want to sleep, so <laughs> didn't sleep on the plane, either of us, but uh, we're here. Yeah. One, two, three! Oh, 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 oh. So we're back for night two. Uh, night one went really, really well. Uh, Chris did a great job on the, the pitching drills. We got through everything that we'd more or less outlined and uh, we were able to finish that up ahead of schedule and uh, we were able to shoot a bit of additional content that um, hadn't really been slated, so that was a bonus. There are a few things that we just can't shoot in this space that require more of a proper infield setup, so that will need to be moved to a time when we can actually shoot in a proper diamond again. But uh, as far as what we came in to shoot yesterday, we got what we needed and uh, it, it, it went quite well. Uh, yeah, we'll be going over the hitting curriculum uh, tonight. Uh, just kind of going over, like you said, the grassroots, the basics, like the, the T and how important the T is and, and your approach and your rhythm and your timing. And, and then we'll move into soft toss and again, rhythm, timing. I uh, got a couple of drills that we need to go over to kind of help uh, with those mechanics and uh, the mindset and just kind of prepare you for the game. Nothing too crazy, we're not going into too many uh, you know, advanced drills, more of the basic grassroots drills that anybody could do, and then uh, we'll move forward uh, later on. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's gonna be good. I think we all kind of this week are just shooting for getting the fundamentals of kind of the, the drills that people need to work on early. Um, again, you could go like all day with the amount of drills that there are out there we could go for hours with different hitting drills and different infield drills, but I think um, the ones that we'll cover shooting this next couple nights are be basically, you know, the main ones that like if people stick to it, they'll see that growth. Um, kind of just in those, you know, those alone, and then build off that from there. Obviously, the overnight shift is very difficult for a lot of people. Just sh literally shifting, you know, your uh, sleeping patterns and being able to, you know, perform at. 100% in the middle of the night, you know, is not not an easy task. So, it's uh, taking little bits of you know yesterday and implementing into what we've, what we're trying to do uh, today uh, and what we have to get through in terms of the material. I think gave us a better understanding of what we need to do today. Uh, so yeah, I'm I'm. I'm optimistic. Uh, we have uh, Willow and Tassoni in town too, so the energy is a little different. There's a lot more, um, you know, collective energy, which which always helps uh, get through. Yesterday was a grind, but you know, tip my cap to you know Beggar and his his team because he was filming all night by himself uh, without any support. So yeah, definitely kudos to them. But yeah, overall, you know, we're looking forward to um, today's shoot because. You know, I'm sure we'll run into more challenges and that's the fun part is the journey, right? So far, so good. I think one of the things that we've kind of been contending with and this is what's actually going on in the background right now uh, is just the setup for this one. What we found when we came in tonight is that actually the batting cages where normally this kind of work would actually take place was just a little bit restrictive for actually working with the cameras in there. Um, so we're kind of, well, we're, the guys are kind of jury rigging a, um, a setup where we can work in this main area uh, and still be able to get what we need, but in a way that won't really affect the lighting fixtures and the pipes up, up top. That's kind of a, a risk when you're working in open space like this, which is why the cages are kind of meshed off. Um, so that's taken a few minutes just to kind of get set up, but this will actually put us in a good position for tomorrow night because we'll be able to do the rest of our shooting in this open space. So once this is sort of set, uh, we'll be able to kind of do all of our work in this, in this area. There'll be a couple variations because I like to like get loose and just kind of yeah. feel this one out too. So that's what we'll start with here. And then we'll get a little bit more into more of a rotation. And it's, it's smooth, right? Because I don't want to strain anything in your shoulder. Yeah, you're not going 100%.
All right, let's uh, let's speed. take a nice smooth swing. So his you know, thought process here is you know, nice smooth load and then I'm going to get that forearm through this space and then release my hands towards it. So all the drills are going to be T-based? Well, that's, that, that's why I thought you were going to uh, do it T-based and then say the option is as a soft toss, as you, yeah. But uh, for drill library purposes, yeah, I was gonna do like a soft toss drill library, right? So we're doing forty-five as a drill library, as right. a drill itself. See, I, right? I'm looking at it from an issue to solution. Right. This solves that one problem, yeah. and this is oh, just like okay. a variation. So like doing it as a soft toss won't help. Right. Because now or that's I mean, what I'm saying. Yeah, is yeah. That the the we're drill doing the same solution. Exactly. Yeah, yeah, okay, so yeah. I'm categorizing it as a problem yeah. solution. Okay. You add like a footnote. Now I feel like our so. drill list just went like this. It's fine okay. because <laughs> now we can now we can go uh, uh, how to front toss properly. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Like stuff like that, and then all also real versus feel, like yeah. concepts okay. of, of of teaching that. So I'm gonna present the ball. Okay. Presenting the ball, I'm going back, left, right, out of the way. Right. Remember, get behind the L screen. Screen. Get behind the L screen. Well, so let's start up with this, okay? Yes, coach. Okay. So now for that, straight up. Okay, now straight up, and the next one straight up. And then work your hand around it. Or you could just go back and forth so they don't go over each other. <laughs> There you go. There you go. We're getting better. Is there anything else you want to add, or you're happy with? I think we're good. We're, we're hitting. We haven't covered all the hitting stuff. Okay. Let's wrap on day two. Yeah, I think we're good. Camera rip. Yeah. Gee. Well done, everybody. Yeah. Awesome. Hitting done. Well job. Well job. Well job, Renny. So we're final night tonight, and uh, everybody's feeling feeling pretty good, I think. But uh, energy's definitely fallen off a little bit. I think by uh, by the end of the day yesterday, I think most of the crew was uh, starting to feel that the effect of that sort of inverted schedule. So tonight should be should be good, but I think it's going to be a, a little bit more of a push to kind of finish. It's been a tiring week, to say the least, or a uh, couple days. But I think, um, you know, we're in the right direction. Just seeing what the, the footage that we've been capturing, it's, uh, it's, it gives you that motivation to kind of press forward, even though you know that physically it's, it's kind of difficult. But, you know, like I said, we have a, a great team. They come together um, and everybody kind of pulls the weight to make it kind of happen. So we're on our last day. We're excited that we are on our last day. We just want to kind of push through this and the energy, uh, you know, it's important to keep that positive energy because, you know, we're, this is just the process essentially, right? So it's like, of course, it's going to be tough. No one said it was going to be easy, but you know, if we all focus on why we're doing this in the first place and how we can contribute as a team, I think that keeps people motivated to kind of see the bigger picture and be able to withstand, you know, a, a, a tough night or a tough shoot uh, or a little tiredness and stuff like that. So Willow is actually up tonight. We're doing our infield component of the drill library. Uh, so Jason's going to be taking us through infield drills and we've got a couple people coming in to help us out. We've got some younger players that are going to be working with him to kind of tackle that material. Okay, can we figure it out here? <laughs> <laughs> I got one more. That's not your fault. Ready? <laughs> okay. Nice. Okay. Nice. More. Nice. Now two hands. Get that transfer up front. Good. Keep it up front. Good. Fingers towards the ground. Beauty. Now forehand. Open up. There you go. Good. Good push through. One more. Nice. Oh! Oh! I don't miss. 
Oh, miss. Oh. oh! How's that arm? You guys warmed up? Yeah, we're warm. You, let's do it. Two nothing me. I don't care if he's 11 years old. I never lose, competitive. Let's try my man. Round of applause for Christian. My sweater. Mahalo. Yeah, dude. We've given you enough free shirts. Like you should wear them. Plug. Hi, oh boy. Killed it. Yeah, dude. You, you, awesome. right? hey, you look awesome. What's up, man? Jason. Yeah, Jason. Nice to meet you. Yeah, yeah. Renee. Nice to meet you. Hi, bud. Nice to meet you, man. Look at that hair, man. It's a step above this. This is what he was trying to do. Oh, right. <laughs> Sunspeed. Two ball hop, take one, Alpha Bravo common. Two ball hop, Alpha Bravo Gotcha. Maybe Renee, you give one final one, and then you can give us that closing line one more time, Will. Oh, one more. Two more. That's perfect. So that's something that you can do. Find a coach, find a player before the game. Just get your hands moving and kind of get things uh, at a higher speed. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you got one more time while we're still shooting. <laughs> I don't know what I, how do I close that off? We got, a, we got a ball in the gap here? Okay. Yeah. Ball in the gap. Alright. It's the hidden ball trick. Hi! Flip that thing over really nice. Hell of a job, boys. All right, we did right. it. We did it. We did it. Tristan, thank you very much for the tolerance. Thank you, Tom. Thank you very much. I got you. We'll get you again, Dave. Oh, he still has it. 5 a.m. We got you. Beggar. Good job, man. Good job, yeah, bro. Oh, you yeah. should have been around before. Yeah, <laughs> you should have been here the whole trip. Yeah, it was fucking tough. Parkour. Awesome job as usual. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay. Boss man, how do you feel? Overall, yeah, I'm, I'm happy with, uh, with everything, the way it went. It went a lot more smoothly today uh, than anticipated, which is always good. Um, there, uh, again, there's a lot of challenges with overnight shoots, especially with, you know, the time of day, people's energy, you know, our focus. Um, so it was uh, it was great that we could overcome those challenges. I feel like we were ahead of schedule. We had time yeah. for some extra extra material. You know, the boys did a really solid job of flowing through their drills and their material, and um, and the guys that we had working with the Apo Taco team did a great job. The kids did a great job. So yeah, I mean, fatigue aside, I think spirits were high and everybody pulled through and. We got what we came here to do done in, in really good time. Yeah, some good stuff coming.